What is up, first fans? Welcome to the Fantasy Football First Studios. I'm Rick, this is my co-host Devin, and today we are going to tell you about Travis Etienne and why he is an upside pick. Mm -hmm. But first, let's get to this intro and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's get into this. So, Devin, what yeah. do you got for us on Travis Etienne? Travis Etienne is a rank number 26 position rank. He's being drafted 26 overall, running back overall. Normally in the fifth, sixth round, you would usually see him. Mm -hmm. Lately, he's been going a little bit up. I guess people are like trending on this that Travis Etienne is an upside running back. So we'll definitely see in the next like few weeks where he's going to end up. Yeah, with these preseason games, if he does well, that's going to spike way up. Yeah, but definitely. He's still got some competition there with James Robinson. Yeah, he should be the main guy though. Kind of what people are afraid of right now, I think, is with that James Rob mm -hmm. Robinson play, he obviously did real well last year. Mm -hmm. And who's going to get the majority of the carries? Is Travis going to even get very many carries or is he just going to get the supposed third down roll i mean <laughs> yeah i mean let, if you watched one of our previous videos where we actually kind of like talked about yeah. travis eating a lot <laughs> we came up with the same conclusion that travis eating is going to be the main guy there yes uh, i mean they didn't draft a first round running back to be replaced by a free agent yeah from last year it's like no that's not going to happen it doesn't matter how good robinson did EDM and he did be. good, but he didn't do great. Yeah. I mean, he just had a lot of volume, which makes him look good. And it also, you know, was very good for fantasy football, which yes. we like. Which means whoever gets this gig, if they can get the full-time gig, it's going to be good for fantasy football again. Yeah. But someone yeah. like Travis Etienne, if he can take that same amount of carries, he's got more talent and he should be able to produce more with that. Yes. And what... Robinson finished as, I think, the seventh ranked running back last year. I would have to double check, but yeah, it's around Somewhere there. around there. We have a pretty good finish. Yeah, yeah. So this is why we think ETN, if he could get all the carries, could have that top close to five range upside. Yes. Which is what you're looking for to win these leagues. You want that upside. Yes. I actually have Travis Etienne as my rank number 13. Yeah. So right outside the top 10. So we're, we're twice as high on him as... Uh, the yeah, average draft yeah. position. So yep. we're excited about him, and you should be too. Yep, definitely great. Anything else for us, Devin? No. I mean, if you draft him in the fourth or fifth round, that's definitely a whole lot of value for you. So, yeah. Definitely yeah, you him. definitely don't want to reach for him. I mean, don't go in the third round or something crazy. I mean, you might have to later on if we see what a special talent he could be mm -hmm. uh, after these preseason games. But right now, don't reach for him. Just... Get him at the average draft position. If you get a nice stud running back early on, get a couple of good receivers or a tight end, then come back and get him as your number two or even your number three running back in the fifth round, and you'll be pretty good, I think. Yeah, yeah, you'll be set. Smart plays. Yeah. Which is what we want. We want to finish first. So we need these high upside plays, and Travis Etienne is one of those guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he doesn't pan out, he doesn't pan out. But we're not trying to be average. We're trying to be First. Number uno. So, Devin, with all of that being said, always remember to finish, finish first. Thank you for listening to the Fantasy Football First.com podcast. Jackson throws to Cleet Crabtree, has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at fantasyfootballfirst.com.